Welcome back to my channel today. We are going to be trying a bunch of different stuff, kind of. Um, this is a mukbang, BTW. Yeah. So I'm here joined by Alex and Ava. Yes. And today we are going to be trying these. I cannot read in Korean, okay. but hot chicken flavor ramen. And it is really hot because the guy on the side is going. Oh, that's a chicken. Yeah, he has a chicken. He's probably in our bowl. I think he's eating oh. his friends. <laughs> yeah, he is. Oh, Anyways, so we went to the Korean market today and got a bunch of stuff. And then we also have kimchi. And it has like more stuff in it besides. Okay, so it has a bunch of different vegetables in it besides just cabbage. Yeah. And then we have this, what, yen yen? Is that what it's called? Yeah, and then. Mm -hmm. Chopsticks. And this bowl. So let's get started. Okay. So I have a few different. Um, we have. A few, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, so we have a few different conspiracy theories. Okay. So me and my mom the other night. Here. We were watching this video. Okay. So I'm in love with this YouTuber. And her name is Stephanie Sue. I'm obsessed. I think I found my new love. Anyways. Oh. She's about to. To get married. Anyways. Oh. Ew, there's a hair in my mouth. Anyways, so she posts a lot of different stuff on her channel. And I always watch the videos and I'm always like, oh my god, I need to tell these conspiracies on my own look on channel. And here we are. So the first one is it's I'll call it the alternate universe. Okay, so oh, that's mm-hmm. There, <laughs> Montana! You're so stupid! <laughs> I just regret his can of noodle. <laughs> no! Okay, continue. Which one is You didn't even pick up one. Do you like it by itself or hanging off the side of the bowl? Oh my god, you're so. Do you know how to use chopsticks? No. Oh my god, I just dropped it. Okay, so. There's this family, it's like a grandma, a daughter, and a mom, and a bunch of other people going. Okay, right? So they're going to see like this little like show in Chicago, and they live somewhere else, like they don't live near Chicago. So they go there, and they get a hotel, right? So the hotel's not sketchy, it's not shady, it's a, it's a pretty nice, relatively nice hotel, right? <laughs> No. I hear it in my head. You hear it in your head? Like, yes. Key. Key. Anyways. So then, they're at this hotel, right? And everybody's down at the pool. Oh, well, yeah, it's kind of nice out. I have an outdoor pool. It's like during the summer. They're chilling. They're having fun. Right? And... The grandma stayed in the hotel because she's just like too tired to go down to the pool because she's like an old lady, you know? So, the grandma's in the hotel room. And for the past couple days they've been, they've been staying there, the mom has let the daughter go up back into the room because her grandma was there if she ever felt tired or whatever because she kind of like trusted her. All she had to do was press the button, press number seven in the elevator, right? So it was a pretty simple task for this little girl to do. And then, wow, this is spicy. But it's like a good sting. It doesn't taste like anything, it's just spicy. Yeah, but it's I love it. my eye. Is that soy sauce? Yeah. Okay, so. We're gonna be blind for the rest of this video. <laughs> oh my Are you God. crying? No, it's not that just got in my eye. Oh. Are you okay? <laughs> this story is too harsh. Ew, the milk tastes bad. Once it's spicy. Oh. No, not like the milk, but like the combination of the two. Oh my god, literally what is happening? Continue. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're dying. Oops. That was a bit much. But we're not gonna talk about it. Anyways. So then they're going up on the other. She goes into the elevator and she presses the button and she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she presses, she presses number seven. She's completely sure she's number seven. She doesn't think twice about it. And she gets on the floor. And there 
hotel room was two doors down from the elevator, so it was relatively close, and that's why the mom pretty much trusted the daughter, because it was so close to the elevator, so nothing would really happen in two steps. And she gets up there, and she goes up to her room, and she knocks on it, and she's like, Grandma! Grandma, let me in! Grandma! And her grandma, well, this woman, opens the door, and is like, little girl, I told you yesterday not to come to my room. I'm not your grandma. And so, this girl's like, um, yeah, you're not my grandma. And she's so confused because she was almost positive, completely positive that that was her room. And so she goes to the elevator, presses 7 a.m. She's like, I'm on the right floor. And then she waits at the elevator and she's like waiting for her mom. And she's like, where's my mom? Okay, so like, what? How old was she? Like seven. Or oh. And like five minutes later, the mom comes out of the elevator and picks her up and is holding her. And my the little girl is like pretty much air dried by then because the AC is like cranking up in the hotel. So she's like pretty dried. So she's not really getting her mom wet. And so her mom picks her up and she presses the seventh floor button and it just opens the doors again. And she gets out and she goes to the room and it's her grandma in the room. She's like, and the grandma's in there. So the little girl's like, what kind of science is this? Um. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> You're so Can I actually get chocolate <coughs> and more milk? I don't know. I'm okay with them. I can't use chopsticks. So I'm struggling. You can't? You no. want me to go get you a fork? I'm gonna go get a fork. Okay, sorry. We had to get a few things. And then. The daughter's like, what? 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 I'm confused. And the there's policemen everywhere. And so this little girl's like, what's going on? And the mom's like, you've been missing for like an hour. And she was like, what? I just got off the elevator and knocked on the door and there's some random lady sitting in grandma's room. And I was very confused. And the mom's like, what? So she explains the whole story to her mom. And her mom's like, huh. So they look back on security footage. And they see the little girl come up to the elevator. But she never comes off. Right? And then the police, like, checked, sorry, down, like, every hallway, like, looking for this little girl. And it wasn't really a type of sp suspicious hotel. It's like... It doesn't seem like a place that people would steal kids. So then, there's conspiracies all over Reddit. And people are saying that she entered a new dimension when she got onto the um, elevator. And like mine, this is like a real thing that actually like happened. Um, nobody can really figure it out. The police are still, like, super confused. So, comment down below what you think happened. Okay, so now I'm going to eat some kitty tea. Okay. I'm going to get a piece of cabbage. Is it, isn't it spicy? Mm, it doesn't look. It, I tasted it a little bit of it earlier. It doesn't taste too spicy. Okay. Just grab some of that. kind of lit. Is it good? What does it taste like? Cabbage. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Whose stomach was that? Mine. Oh. I can't eat spicy foods without dying. So, it's not that spicy. It's pretty good. Mmm, okay. it's like cheesy. But it's not. Okay. Ew. That's right. Mm hmm. Anyhow. So, yeah. That's that story. 
first story time. Put it in your mouth. It's so cold. I don't know. No, I can bite things in the back of my mouth. Barely. It just tastes salty. Like, mm hmm. It's really weird. Doesn't it taste like cheesy? But, like, there's no, no. cheese on it. Oh, I had the spinach. Anyways, guys. It's good. Yeah. I don't know how to explain it, though. Mm -mm, me either. Anyways, we have a whole jar of it. It's really good. Anyways, so, yeah. Hope you like that. Um, next story. I'm going to look on my phone. I wrote down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's the one of the woman that makes any man fall in love with her. Me. <sighs> no. This is a real story. It happened in China. Right? Okay. So. So. <laughs> stop staring at me. I'm not staring. I'm trying to hurt. There's men. That. <laughs> See, my body just starts making weird noises. Like, <laughs> Me too. Food. It's like, uh, uh. you heard my stomach last night. Did I send no. you? I sent you the oh, video. Oh, yeah. Did I send you that? My stomach goes, <laughs> you say a lot of weird things. Yeah. It's like, it's a little picture. It's kind of cute. He's got kimchi in there. And Mine then there's like, beetle, thick, shiny shell. <laughs> <laughs> and there's strawberry and chocolate. <laughs> can you put them both or just one? You can do them both. Yeah, just like. I want strawberry. I want chocolate. This is like nothing. I thought it was gonna be the entire. Oh thing. no, that's never how it works. That's how it is with Nutella too. I didn't know. Yeah, it goes down that far. Nice. It tastes like poppy. I didn't chew that. Mhm. Mm that's good. The the sticks are thicker though. <laughs> okay. So you ready for this new story? I have a full bathroom. I just ruined everything, I know. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So there's this one. Well no. Okay, let's start with there's this guy. And so the police find him dead in his car, right? Outside of like a Macy's or something. And I'm pretty sure I already said that this is in China. It's so like, I don't think they have things like that, but it was like a store. Okay. And in the back of his car, he was burning carbon, I mean, car, he was burning coal. There was burning coal in the back seat, okay? So, if you didn't know, um, charcoal releases carbon monoxide, and that's like a deadly gas. And you can die from it. Okay. So, this guy dies in his car. You know? And what am I going to do? So, they thought that it might have... Yes. <laughs> so, um... Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, so they take, like, him into, like, questioning. But, like, not questioning. Like, they take his stuff into like question right so it doesn't seem like a suicide because he was a pretty pretty happy man like a very happy man actually yeah, yeah. <sighs> Ava what? and then they asked the family they were like <clears throat> yeah um he was a pretty happy guy he was about to get married like there's no reason he would kill himself so the police are convinced it was a murder. They just couldn't put their finger on who it was. So, then, Alex, get me. Mm -hmm. A case popped pop up like 20 miles away, or something like that. I don't really know. Of the same thing. So, this guy, but this guy dies in his house. Alex, <laughs> sorry. But this guy dies in his house <laughs> of, carbon, of carbon monoxide poisoning. And is this the same story about the girl that makes everyone fall in love? Yeah. So then he dies, guy, because of the carbon monoxide and stuff. And so they're like, oh, these cases are related, obviously. 
and that them they farm that both of these men credit Can I card one of these yeah credit card account has zero dollars in it zero none and so they trace who took out the money and it comes to this woman in like her late 50s right so they show the families they're like hey um hold on i'll show you a picture so they're like hey do you know this woman and they're like yeah that's his fiance and for the one guy and then the other guy they're like yeah that's his girlfriend she makes him super happy She's always making food for him. And yeah, like this is what they did. They were like, like, do you know this? Let me see. Do you know this one? Oh, no. <laughs> You're so... Okay. Ew. Ew. Anyways. Forgot, don't you? Ew. Anyways, so then um, they're like, but so she's like, an affair. Like, what? What? Yeah. Yeah, like. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So they're like. And then they question this woman, and she's like, oh, yeah, uh, you caught me on um, a bunch of guys. And then she's like, what I did was um, I went on Tinder and I found guys who like had in their bios that they were just divorced because they were more vulnerable and she would like um text them and then they like fell in love with them. Okay. So then uh the there's another guy that dies for the exact same reason. So they're like, what the heck's going on? What what's going on? What's going on here? And then, <laughs> then she, they figured out that she would take money from the person that she was dating, right? And she would buy herself a car. And then she would post on her Tinder account, like a picture of her with her car. I mean, like oh. working hard pays off. So that guys would be like, oh, she's a strong, independent woman. We gotta get with her, right? And so mine, these guys really, did I say that they were like, they're like 90s and 70s these oh. guys were like old Ew. and she was how old like late 50s oh and so then the family remember how they said she always used to cook for them and this woman wasn't pretty like she was really ugly sorry not you Ava. not in that picture but like that woman was really ugly wait not in that picture no uh, another picture no <laughs> No. We said not in that picture. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. Not in that picture. Like, that picture is not her. Right. Oh, okay. Anyways. So, um, then, like, they figured out that she went to, like, culinary school for, like, seven years. Because her memo was, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Yes. I love that, right? Me too. The way to anyone's stomach. Heart, it's my heart. And she decided this is gonna be my life. I'm gonna dedicate my life to scamming men. Can you get in trouble for that? Like cuteable, like jail? Mm-hmm. Okay. Scamming's illegal. Mm-hmm. Oh, especially since she took advantage of them. Yeah. It's like harassment. Anyways. So then um yeah, so this woman, what was I saying? Uh, she wasn't pretty. And <gasps> yeah. Harassment. And stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so she, like, cooked for them. She would cook everything and stuff like that. And, like, that's why they loved her so much. They were, like, obsessed with her. Like, well, like they didn't care about So the moral of the story is if you make your husband food, he'll love you. Or, like, yeah, and then you can like, scam him and get other men. And get their cars. And then, <coughs> and then they die. Yeah, get their money. Yeah. More of the story. <laughs> Anyways. So, then they go to this woman's house and they're like, we gotta investigate your house because you seem pretty fishy, dude. So, they go in the house and they find coal and, I mean, charcoal in her house. 
Like, how dumb could she be to have charcoal in her house? The exact car charcoal, car <laughs> charcoal that was used in three of the murders. This girl is stupid. Like, how stupid can you be? Really? And then she still says that she never did anything and that she never killed those men. Even though they have so much proof to say that she obviously did. Yeah. But, yeah. So the moral of the story is eat your way into a man's heart. And then take all the money. Mm -hmm. Let them die. Mm -hmm. Shane Dawson could have said Kill them. Okay, so that's the end of this mukbang. We didn't finish, but like... <laughs> a lot we can put it in a container and eat it at midnight okay thanks for watching bye